English grammar. Verb phrase. In English grammar, there are five main types of phrases, and they are noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, and prepositional phrase. In the previous video tutorial, we had already discussed the noun phrase, so now we focus on the verb phrase. What are verb phrases in grammar? A verb phrase is a group of words including the main verb and any other modal or auxiliary verbs that act as a sentence's verb. Modal and auxiliary verbs are such as is, am, are, was, were, be, been, have, has, had, do, does, did, will, shall, can, may, must, and etc. In verb phrases, the main verb holds information about the event or activity that is being referred to, and the auxiliary verbs add meaning by relating to the time or aspect of the phrase. Here are a few quick examples of verb phrases. My dad is cooking today. I have written a letter for you. I have been waiting all day. In these examples, the words is cooking, have written, and have been waiting are categorized as the verb phrases. Now. Let's continue discussing the types of verb phrases. There are many different ways we can form verb phrases depending on the meaning and the purpose of the phrase. Let's take a look at some of the main types. 1. To be plus main verb or in form. When the main verb is being used, in its in form, example, walking, talking, it expresses a continuous aspect. The use of auxiliary verbs will show whether the continuing action is in the past, present, or future. Examples Nobody is listening. They were dancing. He will be visiting tomorrow. In the first sentence, nobody is listening, is listening is the verb phrase, and this sentence is in the form of present continuous. In the second example, they were dancing, where dancing is the verb phrase. This sentence is in the form of past continuous, and in the last example, the sentence he will be visiting tomorrow, will be visiting is the verb phrase, and the sentence is in the form of future continuous tense. 2. Have, has, had, plus main verb, or past participle form. The verbs have and has express a present perfect aspect, whereas the verb had expresses a past perfect aspect. Examples They have relaxed all weekend. Nobody has tried the new flavor. She had started the project. The words have relaxed, has tried, and had started in these examples are all categorized as phrases, in which the first and the second sentence are in the form of present perfect tense, while the third sentence is in the form of past perfect tense. 3. Modal verb plus main verb. 
Modal verbs are a type of auxiliary verb that express modality. Modality includes things such as possibility, probability, ability, permission, ability, and obligation. Example modal verbs include must, shall, will, should, would, can, could, may, and might. Examples He will arrive. They might live. Number four. Have, has, had, plus been, plus main verb, or in form. In this case, both the continuous aspect and the perfect aspect are expressed. The continuous aspect comes from the in verb, and the perfect aspect comes from the auxiliary verb have been. When the auxiliary verb has or have is used, it creates the present perfect continuous aspect. When the auxiliary verb had is used, it expresses a past perfect continuous aspect. Examples Nobody has been watching the show. She had been dancing. In the example, nobody has been watching the show, the verb phrase is has been watching and the tense mode or aspect is present perfect continuous. While in the sentence she had been dancing, the verb phrase is had been dancing and this is in the form of past perfect continuous. Conclusion A verb phrase is a group of words that act as a verb in a sentence. In addition, a verb phrase typically consists of a main verb and its modifiers, such as modal and auxiliary verbs. Now let's try to do this exercise. Identify the verb phrases. You have 10 seconds before the correct answer automatically appear. Number 1. Oh dear, it's raining again. A is B raining. C is raining. Two, my parents have never been to a foreign country. A, have, B, have been, C, been. Three, I'll see you on Thursday. A, C, B, will, C, C, will. Four, somebody has broken this window. A, has broken, B, broken, C, has. Five, I'm not feeling very well. A, am, B, feeling, C, I'm not feeling. Six, are you planning anything special for your birthday? A, R, B, planning, C, R, planning.
7. Have you ever met Linda? Simon's wife. A. Met. B. Have. C. Have met. Our daughter could read at the age of five. A could, B read, C could read. Nine. Should I phone you again this afternoon? A should phone. B. Fong. C. Sud. Ten. Excuse me, but you are standing on my foot. A. R. B. Standing. C. R. Standing. Eleven. I can speak German pretty well. A. Can speak. B. Can. C. Speak. Twelve. We have always wanted to visit Rajasthan in India. A. Have wanted. B. Wanted. C. Have. Well, that's all for this session. Keep in touch. See you and bye-bye.